What are the latest news of somehow? Let's see what's going on. Remember to read the disclaimer right here and also in the description below. Let's see what's happening. Almost minus 10% today, around six dollars somehow in stock. Very, very interesting. Let's see what's going on with this price action. We have some breaking news that we're going to comment just right now. So keep tuned. Subscribe to Trading HD. Thank you very much. Let's get started. Well, look at that. We are analyzing the, the, the two actual reject price reactions that we are watching in the last couple of weeks. And you can clearly see the first one is the is the more severe one we're talking about minus 43 percent and the previous one was minus around minus 38 so obviously after this huge and incredible uptrend, you know it's like absolutely insane or oh, we are talking about almost 600 percent it's normal to see some corrections but the key question here is will the correction continue yeah, very good question. Right now, we are kind of in the middle. If, if between these two levels, we were talking the previous video of the level of 7.50, uh, a very key area in our opinion, because that was, if we go to the one hour chart, for instance, we can see with more detail right here, the bounces that happened during this price action. We have one, two, three, almost four, or even five, if you take into account this last one also. And from there, we had this very clear breakout. And from there, the price started to drop very, very fast. So guys, what do you think about this level? Do you think this acted as a support and now we lacked as a resistance? We will visit it again and we will see a breakout to higher prices. Or do you think the price will go to lower levels before this happens? Let us know in the comments. We will comment the forecast now. But first of all, let's talk about some breaking news. Okay, so what can you tell us about what's happening in Shanghai? Because we have some interesting data about the CEO of the company. Exactly. So apparently on March 19, 2024, this year, very, very interesting. We have, according to a recent check filing, the CEO and, own, and owner sorry, of 10% of Shanghai AI has sold four almost 50,000 shares of the company this day, March 19. And also we have some information about um, his name is Kevin Mohager. I don't know if I pronounced it correctly, but this is the CEO of Sound. Uh, has sold a total shares of 500,000. So very interesting. What do you think about this information, guys? Did you know it? Uh, do you have another information that you can share with us about this topic? But I think it's a very interesting uh, to comment about this about this that's happening right now. And also in this, we are reading Guru, Guru Focus Research. We have uh, that. There are a total of 48 insider sales and no insider buys occurring over the last year. So very interesting. What do you think about this? Do you have different information or do you agree with that? And what, how do you see it for the future of this company? Okay, so you can clearly see this blue line that we have right here. That's the, the, the date the date exactly where the CEO started to sell shares. Uh, actually, when he was trading around this support level that we, have, that we were talking about the other day. So obviously, maybe the, there is some reason, you know, behind this breakout because it, that, that's a lot of shares. That's a lot of volume right there. And you can clearly see, let's activate the volume profile and, and see it closely. Uh, we're talking about right here, uh, the, the price action, wow, yeah, it, it's exactly right. The, all trading volume was around this area, and when the breakout happened, normally there is no resistance, you know, there is no buying pressure, no nothing, uh, and that's why the stock is starting to plummet at that particular area. That's very, very interesting. I have right here uh, the data of Sound Insider activity uh, from the West Up website of the Nasdaq, and you know, this past three months, we have uh, zero number of open market buys, and we have 13 number of sales uh, with a total of five five 550,000. So yeah, we have that 500,000 of the CEO. And then in the past 12 months, we have 14 open market buys and uh, 55 number of sales. So very interesting to have the data also. In the next video, we can comment your opinion about it, but I think it's interesting to have that information. So from the technical side, let's see also the forecast that we have in the trading move platform. Yeah, obviously the price right right here has been rejected and normally uh, that happens that the analysts, uh, they can see that they expected so much, so many things about this stock and the price was rich at that time. Now it has been dropping and you can clearly see that the expectations didn't drop uh, because normally this is what they expect the price to go around, this area, around that area and stay. So that means the average right now is plus 18% and the most optimistic, optimistic analyst from Wall Street thinks that the stock could go up more than 57%. So we are talking about that it was near the last highs that we saw back then. A very very interesting we will see in the next video what are uh, the data behind it and also in your in the comments let us know your forecast 
So here we are in the one minute chart or something, but before this guys, we have a new trading HD account on Twitter or X or whatever you want to call it. We also have a special affiliate links in the video description, everything in the YouTube video description below. Uh, so you can get the most and the best trading HD stuff ready for you. Thank you very much for checking that out. And also, if you can enjoy those uh, discounts, we are happy for that. And in that way, you can help us also. Very interesting as this one minute chart. Let's see the price action right there. We have the exact moment of the breakout in the 21st of March. Uh, you know, uh, it's interesting to analyze from the technical side that we have a very clear breakout with no retest. The price started to go a little bit higher, but it didn't retest at, at least at that level. And from there, we have kind of some trend lines that we can comment right now. But I want to know also your opinion if you use uh, intraday charts also from the technical side or if you like that analysis also. Yeah, look at that. We have two possible scenarios right now because it went down 20% in just one day. That's insane. So normally there are two possibilities. The first one, normally it could go up, you know, it means that uh, it, it tends to do a, like a retest. And then if the, if, the down, if, the, if it's a downturn when we are watching, it should go down again. That's one possible scenario. And the second, you know, the price is stabilizing on this area or even go down a little bit more. But remember, guys, this is making new lows every time. So as long as this continues, you know, and the issue it should continue to go down following that trend. Yeah, what do you think about these uh, type of patterns? Uh, do you follow trend lines or do you prefer a different strategy? Uh, how do you see this situation? Do you think like the first scenario will happen? We'll see the breakout and the price going higher. Do you think uh, maybe uh, the price will stagnate around these levels for a little uh, for a little time around the, this next week maybe? Or do you think that it will go lower from these levels, like creating this type, continuing this type of downtrend? Very interesting to see how this develops because uh, I think that we are just in the middle. If we go back to the daily chart, we can see that the price is exactly in the middle between these two levels that we think are key. So how do you see that? I'm very happy to read always your comments and opinions. And let's finish this video remembering that thank you very much for joining Trading HD, coming honest traders. We really, really appreciate it. We are more than 1,000 subscribers. Welcome. Bye-bye.